Hey guys! So today I have this olive green smoky eye tutorial. It is a full face tutorial. I'm going to show you exactly how I did this look. And this was a look that I've been wearing a lot lately and it was very, very requested for me to do a tutorial so that's what we're doing today. I love this look. I just think it's so beautiful for going out or for any holiday parties you might have coming up. So yeah, if you want to see how to create this look then just keep watching. Of course, we're going to start by priming the eye area and I'm using my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. Next to set that paint pot in place, I'm using Makeup Geek Baby Face, which is just about my skin tone, a little bit darker and a little bit more cool tone, but that's just going to set the paint pot and then help all the other shadows that we add later blend a lot easier. Next for my transition color, I'm using Cream Brulee, also by Makeup Geek, and I'm taking that on a fluffy but tapered brush which just helps throw the color in the crease so easily lays down the color and blends it all at the same time so you don't really have to do a whole lot of work which is what I like it's the Sephora number 19 brush now I'm taking makeup geek preppy eyeshadow on a Mac 286 duo fiber brush and I'm just popping that in the natural crease but a little bit above the natural crease and I'm taking that on the outer corner mostly and then once most of that product is laid down then I am just kind of blending it over about three-fourths of the way. I love that yellowy mustardy color. I think it's so beautiful. And now I'm taking Makeup Geek Enchanted Forest on a smaller more tapered eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to start by dabbing that on the outer part of my eye like the outer V. Just kind of stamping a little bit down at a time. I always slop up this part. Honestly when I use outer V colors that are darker I just really they get really muddy and really sloppy really fast so I just find if you do tiny little stamping motions a little bit at a time that's going to be the way to do it so it doesn't get sloppy and muddy looking. So I'm just working that in the outer V and then I'm taking a little bit of what was left on the brush and just blending it over like so. Now I'm going back in with Makeup Geek Preppy. I'm just going to dust that above the green color just to help blend it out, blend out any harsh lines we might have. Now I'm spritzing my 242 MAC brush with MAC Mineralized Charged Water and I'm going in with the star of the show, Makeup Geek Dual Intensity Eyeshadow in Passe which is a magical little color. It looks olive green. It has like gold, antique gold shift, old gold type shift to it. It has maroon shifts to it. It's just just magical. So I'm just applying that on my eyelid and tiny little motions. I'm just taking a little bit at a time to really make sure I can build up the intensity of the color and get it pretty precisely on my lid. This color and this formula in general of eyeshadow is beautiful used dry as well but I just wanted to kick it up a notch so I did wet my brush as you saw. So either way works but I was going all out today. <laughs> then I'm going to line my lash line with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I'm just doing a really thin little line as you can see with a little bit of a wing and that's just going to help disguise the false lashes that we go in with here in just a moment. For false lashes, I'm using these beautiful fluffies by Coco Lashes. These are in the style called Soho. They're so fluffy and so pretty. So I have those on and now I'm just going to go in and mesh my natural lashes up with the false lashes to make it super seamless and that's the Carbon Black by L'Oreal Mascara. I've been loving that lately. Time to prep the face. For complexion, I'm using my Ride or Die Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Eye Cream to hydrate those eyes. I just don't like using concealer without using that product. Next, I have another Bobbi Brown product. This is called, I think it's called like the Tinted Balm or something. And I actually just use this for a kick of hydration. It doesn't offer hardly any coverage or pig it offers a little pigment but the coverage is so sheer that I just use it as an extra punch in the face of hydration which I love and then I'm going to prime my face with the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer which I've been quite enjoying lately as well. For foundation, I'm using the MAC Studio Waterweight Foundation. I have mine in the shade NC15. This is a very, very liquidy and very sheer coverage foundation and it doesn't help the coverage aspect when I am applying it with a damp sponge. This was actually the first time I used that product because it's a new product to me 
And I honestly wasn't that impressed with it because if I'm going to spend the time applying foundation, I don't know, I want it to be a little bit easier to work with, meaning it was a, it was really liquidy and really runny. And it did last a really long time. And it was, you know, a nice sheer coverage, but it's just not my favorite. I would much rather use like a NARS Sheer Glow and get a very similar result with a little bit more coverage, but still beautiful skin-like coverage. And so I did compensate for the lack of coverage with that, and I applied quite a bit of concealer. This is the Bare Minerals, I think it's called like the, it's basically the serum type concealer. So it has like a serum skincare aspect in it as well. I have mine in the shade Fair and I'm basically just applying that all up in my face under the eyes for color correction. Around my nose where you could see was quite red before because the foundation just didn't cover the redness that I get in my nose or on my nose. And I'm just blending that in as you would do. <laughs> To set my under eyes, I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, which I just can't stop using. It's just the most beautiful under eye setting powder. It just doesn't leave my under eye looking cracked or cakey, and it's just a beautiful product. Now I'm going to contour and bronze with a cream product. This is the Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Cream Contour like set. You get three in there. These are not my favorite but I do have them and I'm just trying to use them. I've been into using cream products lately, so that's what we're doing is just bronzing and contouring. That first color I laid down was that contour. You can see it's a little bit more of like a cool tone and the bronzer is a little bit more of like a reddish orangey tone, which is perfect for bronzing. So I'm just blending that in with my damp sponge as well. That sponge that I've been using this whole time is the, it's by Pure Minerals and it came with the Cameo Contour Highlight foundation stick and I freaking am obsessed with it. Blending that all over the face and down on my jawline so you don't see any splotchiness. Another cream product, I'm using the Stila Cream Blush. I believe it's a lip and cheek product, but I'm just using it for blush today. It's in the shade Lithium, which is a pinky kind of a pinky nude color. It's really pretty, really natural looking. So I really love the finish on that one. Those are some really beautiful cream blushes. And now to set all the liquid and cream products, I'm taking the Ambient Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light, which is a cool tone, pretty much cool tone white color. Very sheer, doesn't really add coverage or pigment. It just sets everything in place and kind of offers a really soft glow or a soft focus finish to the skin. And I've been loving that too a lot lately. To finish up the lower lash line, I'm taking Enchanted Forest on a flat definer brush and I'm just pushing that right up into the lower lashes for a little bit of green definition. And then on a pencil brush, I'm going back in with Makeup Geek Preppy to just kind of smoke it out and blend it out the green color all at the same time. So it's not really a harsh, super defined line. I want it to be more smoky under there. So that's exactly what we're doing here. You think that that preppy color, that mustardy color would be kind of awful, but I don't know. I just really love that color. If you don't have it, I think it's one to add to your collection. And now we're going back in with NARS Pacifay on the flat definer brush, and I'm just popping that on the lower lash line on the outer part of the eye just to bring the top lid color down on the lower lash line. Lower lash line mascara, I'm using my MAC Extended Play, which I love, and then I'm going in with ColourPop cream gel eyeliner in the color called, I think it's Fast Play. It's a beautiful, like, foresty green color, as you can see. For an inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm taking Makeup Geek White Lies, which is a matte, stark white color. I just didn't feel like doing a shimmery highlight, which I pretty much always do. I wanted to just keep it just highlighted a little bit, but no shimmer. So that's what we're using today. I really wanted the focus of the look to be on that beautiful NARS Pacifay color. For highlight, I'm using MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade, and I really love this. I feel like I neglect this Mineralized Skin Finish so much. You always hear about Soft and Gentle by MAC, which is great, but I think Light Scapade is one that is definitely overlooked. You guys know the drill. I'm just highlighting my face, the cheekbones, top of the cheekbones, down the center of the nose, and then up on that Cupid's bow. For lip liner, I'm first starting by using MAC Pro Longwear Lip Liner in Staunchly Stylish. Beautiful, beautiful, neutral, 
kind of a neutrally nudie rose color. I'm outlining and filling in my lips with that. And then for a little bit of contour and definition and poutiness, I'm using NYX Slim Pencil in a thousand years. Just to, like I said, add a little bit of contour and poutiness, more of a fuller lip look. And to complete the look, I'm using Bite Beauty Luminous Cream Lipstick in Retsina, which is one of my ride or die favorite nude lip colors. So once you have that lip color on, that is the complete to look. I love this look. Like I said, I've been wearing many different variations of this quite often the past, almost the past whole month. Cannot get enough of that NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadow in Pacifay. So beautiful. A lot more on the expensive side. I think those eyeshadows are around $30, but so very, very, very beautiful. And I've gotten a ton of use out of mine. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you do recreate this look, make sure to tag me in any social media pictures so I can go and check it out. And thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.